20 shelves at the 2022 SHOT Show. The annual expo of the world gun trade usually attracts shooting kit manufacturers, distributors and shopkeepers from all over the world. This year there are hardly any Europeans, not many accents from down under and I've seen no Chinese so far. It is not a year for big launches, but it is a year for small steps forward, especially in the use of new tech to improve old ideas. I haven't just come along for the ride. Brett Snyder from Dark Storm Industries shows me around his new lightweight AR-15 and explains why so many Americans use the AR platform for what they call varminting, what we Brits call fox shooting. I mean, there's a lot of guys that like to hunt with an AR platform. Uh, depending on uh, different states, they might have different legislation as far as cartridge-wise you can hunt with. Uh, but most people kind of steered away from ARs because of accuracy. They always have this uh, idea that bolt-action guns are going to be far more accurate than an AR, but we proved that wrong. Typically with an AR platform, if you wanted to shoot a 308 or a 65 Creedmoor, you were upwards in the 9 to 12 pound weight of just the firearm alone. You know, add an optic and you're upwards of you know, 12 to 15 pounds. Uh, we wanted to basically shrink that down, take an AR-15 platform, something that's more in the six pound weight, and chamber that in a 308. And that's what we did here for 2022. We released what's called the DS-25. We modified just a couple parts on the firearm to be able to accept that 308 cartridge. And now it gives us a very user-friendly, versatile, lightweight platform. Uh, this gun weighs in at just six pounds, seven ounces. It uses all mil-spec AR-15 parts. Uh, however, it does chamber a 308. Savage Arms has brought out a new 22 semi-auto on similar lines using modern materials, adapting the shape of existing rimfire models and building a lightweight plinker that's also good for taking out after rabbits. Here's the engineer who designed it. Um, well, we, we come, come standard with, um, you know, S savage quality accuracy um, and then by improving the, the barrel profile we got a nice suppressor on there and, and the system is just adding to it uh, the, the chassis is really nice because it adds a lot of rigidity um, but it's still a polymer so it's uh, still very lightweight so there's innovation from Aimpoint. Eric Ass shows me around the red dot site with something like a ballistic turret. What I can do with this site, what I not can do with our other sites, is that I can actually adjust for the distance. So right now I have a turret here on the top, and that one, when it stands on one, is 100 meter, 200, 300, or 400 meters. It also has magnification that you can deploy for long range shots and then flip to the side when you don't need it. Air guns continue their trend to, well, I suppose you'd call it infinity and beyond, and to even greater calibers. Here is Field Sports Channel commercial director James Westbrook trying out a very snazzy Browning B725. And we're seeing the first of a new trend, the one-man band who had a good idea during lockdown and is at last able to bring it to market. Patrick Newcomb came up with this, the grab-and-go hide. It's a um, three-pound portable stake-free hunting blind, uh, complete mobility made for your mobile hunting, run and gun style hunters. We launched last week at the APA show. It's going very well, had a lot of great positive response. We've already got some uh, stores we're gonna be in. We're real happy with, with the start out. He even has his marketing sorted out. Don't just hunt them, nuke them. The show had only just started when I filmed this, but it looks like SHOT Show 2022 is where American style can take hold with none of those pesky Europeans getting excited about glued steel and polished walnut. And it's SHOT Show, it never fails to surprise.